Hey guys, welcome to my first video of the new year. I'm so excited for 2023. I really love fresh starts and feel like this is kind of necessary in my life for sure. And so if you're feeling the same way and you're looking for some inspiration, kind of how to tackle the new year and how to get all of your thoughts down in one place, I think this video might be for you. I have never ever bullet journaled before, but I've heard people talking about it for I don't know, like five years now. I feel like it was a really big thing and now it's kind of coming back. So I thought I might see what it was all about. I had no clue how creative people get with it and I was immediately like, I need to do that. If for nothing else, just to get my creative energy out um, at the start of the year. And I know you're supposed to buy one of the journals that kind of has like dots and you can really make anything out of the page, but my best friend gave me this journal for Christmas. It says sunny skies ahead and it's just like so my aesthetic and she knew that the minute she saw it. So she wrote a nice note on the front on the inside here and it has lines in it. Like you can kind of see how the pages are lined but I thought I could still make it work for a bullet journal and it's gone really well so far. So I'm gonna reposition the camera and I'm gonna show you the pages I've done so far and then I'm gonna include some footage of a couple of the next pages that I'm working on and just kind of walk you through what each one of them means to me, um, why I thought they were important to put in here and kind of how I'm just gonna organize things in 2023 or attempt to organize things in 2023. So I thought this fit in pretty good with my channel because a lot of times I'm doing like bigger scale design things, but I thought this might be a good chance for you guys to see kind of how I incorporate that creativity into my everyday life when I'm not always working on a big project, um, how I can get that creativity out and still make things that are aesthetically pleasing because I really am loving how this is going so far and I think it's going to make me more excited to keep planning and to keep working on all of the things in here because I'm so excited to just take part in watching the whole journal become a beautiful thing. And so I know it's not like an interior design project, but I hope you guys love it anyway. So I think this is organization on a smaller scale, just trying to get all of my thoughts and creativity into this one place. So I thought you guys might like it. Now I'm just going to show you the pages I have so far and we're going to work on it some more together. Okay, so here is my journal. It says sunny skies ahead. Studio O. Is the name of the company that makes this. Now I just want to go over some materials that I have. Okay. I bought this set of markers at Joann's. It came with 10 colors. They have dual ends on them. So they have a thicker end and one end that is thinner. It's probably really hard to see. So got 10 colors of that. I got this set at Target, which came with 25 and they're really fun colors. They're also dual tipped. Okay, next I have three of these books. One is a travel set. So it just has cute little travel related stickers. One is a faith set. And one is flowers. I have some of this scrapbooking paper from a while ago in just this square pack. So I have one of those. My mom gave me these markers. They are really cool because when you write with them, um, it outlines it in like a shiny color automatically. They all have like an outline on them. So those are really cool. Okay, next I got these pens. I got six new fine liners. They are called Art Alternatives Fine Liners. It's hard to read. Six of those in these colors right here. And then I got these four Stabilo pens. 
So this is what these look like. I got this tape dispenser that just says easy stick. I have some scissors. I have this whole case of washi tape. This was all in one pack from Target. I will try to link it if I can find it. All of this washi tape, beautiful. And I forgot that I also got Crayola Super Tips and they come in all of these colors. Okay, now I'm gonna take you through each page and show you what I have so far, but we're gonna start at the back. I thought it would be really cool on the back page to do things I want to leave in 2022 and list out the things that I want to leave and then below it in the blank space, I will do things I want to leave in 2023. So one tip I wanna give is these glue marks right here came from when I attempted to use this Gorilla Glue. I would not attempt to use that on any thickness of page because it ended up putting those dots there. So now instead I am putting the pages together with the tape, but I did double each page. I glued two pages together because the ink will a lot of times run through. So I glued two pages together and then just put this washi tape down the side because it was cute and that is the back page. Then we will move on to these two pages which I'm so excited about. I have a TikTok tracker and a YouTube tracker and so I will track how many followers I have by coloring in each of the little squares. These I'll color red, these I'll color gray I made a little typo on this one, but it's fine. So this page I just think is so pretty. Love the aesthetic of it. In the back is just where I'm keeping all of like my yearly things, um, not monthly things. Monthly things are starting in the beginning, which I'll show you in a second, but I wanted to do a year in pixels. So I went ahead and drew, and this is where it gets difficult with the lines because there are lines on this page, but I couldn't go by those because there's only like 22 lines and there's 31 days in most of the months. And so this got really wonky looking, don't judge it. It's not perfect, but it's gonna be really cool looking when it's all done. Um, I will try to insert a picture of what a lot of people's pixel pages look like and they're just really colorful. And so that's what I'm doing. You just color in a square on each day and the squares that I chose to include were amazing, productive, sick, great, average, sad, anxious, bad. So I will just color it in based on what I'm feeling that day. And I think it's gonna be really cute. Then over here we have when did I last change my sheets, clean the bathroom, clean the fridge, clean the notes app, invite someone to do something, send someone a card, go through my closet and clean out my car. I have room if I want to add some more right here, but I think this is really good. I'll just keep the dates down below here to keep track of the last time that I did those things that sometimes we forget to do. That's all I have so far in the back, but I am gonna include some more pages in the back and I'll show some footage of me working on those in just a second. Okay, so let's start in the front now and I will show you my January page. Okay, this is my January page and once again, I had the problem with the glue dots. I can't believe I did it, but it's gonna be totally fine because I ordered confetti and I'm gonna be gluing pieces of confetti all over this page because it's like the January theme. And so I'll cover them with confetti. But yeah, that really annoyed me. I drew this little mirror ball, disco ball for January. And then here is what my months are gonna look like hopefully in this journal. Okay, we have a habit tracker page. For this month, I decided to do Bible, prayer, TikTok, phone clean out, 40 ounces of water, workout, early to bed, and early to rise. So these are things that are important to me. You can pick whatever is important to you. I just wanted to do about eight of them. And what I do is when I complete something, I take the marker and I just draw a little circle to show that I have completed it. And this is how you track your habits. So I have a double habit tracker page and I love this. Then I just decorated it with some flowers. I'm kind of going for like a blue theme for January. Okay, this page is one of my favorites. It's my one line a day page and I'm gonna be writing one line a day and then I will pick a meaningful quote or meaningful line and probably put it really big right here on this extra space. But I just kept this one simple, just colored every other line, used some tape, 
and this I'm just gonna write one line a day, something I'm thinking, something I'm feeling, a quote or a lyric that I heard, just something like that, I love that idea. So on the next page, we have this little I am grateful for page. It's supposed to look like a sun, and I'm gonna write one thing that I'm grateful for on each ray, so there's 31 of these, and then I'm probably gonna color every other one. So that's just a fun little activity every day. And then on this page, I have a January brain dump. I put a post-it over something that I already wrote on this page because I don't want to blast it on the internet, but I just have a little brain dump section, and I'm just gonna write sporadically ideas all over this page, and I think that's gonna be a really fun inclusion. Now I am so proud of this page. I made it look like a web page. I love it so much. I got most of these ideas on Pinterest, so I don't want to take credit for them, but I did draw everything and I'm just so proud of my little content planner web page. So just for right now, I have um, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, something here I'm working on, and then I just have ideas. If I have random content ideas or things I wanna start working on, I'll put them here. And I can change the layout of this every month. I'm not sure if I'm gonna to wanna to have these four or if I'm gonna to add to it or take anything away, but I just love the design of that. Look how cute, it's awesome. That's what we've got so far. Today I have a list of other pages I wanna work on, so let's cut to some footage of working on the new pages. Okay, so I did add a couple of pages and I just wanted to flip through and show the new ones that I have added today. So here are the ones that I finished today. Ways to boost your mood. Quotes that I love. Here I have my ideal day. And now books I've read. I hope you guys loved this video as much as I have loved journaling this past week. So if you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. The button is right down below. It helps me out so much. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I have lots of fun things planned for 2023, including a couple of room makeovers that I'm in talks with people about. So don't worry, we're gonna be getting to the interior design. I love it, it fills me with so much happiness and I really wanna share that with you guys. So please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll put the handle right here. It would really help me out. I really wanna try and grow that account as much as possible. I will link everything else that you need to know below, any of the products that I can find or anywhere else that you can find me. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.